All right, for our next one, let's go back over to the East Coast to New Jersey. Alan, what do you say, brother? Pete Menino calling in Ariel, New Jersey, surf type tall fescue. So my question is, with me mowing two days a week, trying to do Wednesday nights and Saturday mornings, I'm running into an issue with when I spray, when I spot spray the weeds, you know, patrolling the lawn, I'm not sure the weeds are getting long enough to really soak up this herbicide. So what do you suggest? I, uh, I've been doing the, uh, the bio slash Bayer advanced uh, all in one for the regular weeds. I also purchased a claim extra to try to tackle this POA problem I'm having. Just curious to see your opinion on it. Once again, thanks for everything, brother. I appreciate everything you do. Talk to you soon. Pete Mino, good to hear from you. Pete's in the Facebook group. Great member there. Offers a lot of really good conversation. Really appreciate that, Pete. Thanks for calling in. So let's talk first here then about the weeds. And what Pete's saying is, Alan, you know, I'm mowing so much like you're telling me that the weeds aren't even able to grow, which that's good. That's what we want, right? Because if a weed can't grow, it can't send up as many leaves because they're called broadleaf weeds for the most part. So it can't send those up. And with that, then it can't absorb sun. So the idea is that it's going to zap the weed. It's going to zap out the energy. But as you know, that is not a way to control weeds that is, you know, 100% effective, not even close. It's one strategy. It's one way of going about it. It's one form of attacking weeds. The other is to spray them. And that's what Pete's doing. And he's saying, Alan, you know, I don't even have enough leaf service that I don't think I'm even coating the weed enough that the weed control is getting in. So in that case, I would say, yeah, go ahead. Now, the thing is, when you're pushing your lawn with fertilizer, it will also push the weeds. So I would go ahead and skip one mowing for sure, that midweek mowing. And I would make sure that I'm starting to really push that lawn. And also I would make sure I'm watering it if you're not getting spring rains. Now in New Jersey, you guys are getting all this rain, I'm assuming. Same as everybody else over there. But if you weren't, I would make sure I'm pushing the lawn itself so everything is growing. And yeah, it's okay to go ahead and let the weeds grow and then do your application. Now then the other thing would be, well, how long should I wait? Because that's the other piece. So the first piece is, Alan, should I let the weeds grow enough to get coated, and yes, you definitely do that, Pete. Let those grow up a little bit. I know you're gonna miss your midweek mow, I know it, but maybe you can do something else. Maybe you can do some edging. Maybe you could, you could burn some weeds. You might be good at that. So maybe there's other things you can do around the flower bed, stuff like that to take care of weeds while you're letting that, that lawn grow, but while you're letting those weeds grow out so the leaf surface is there for you to hit. Now the second piece would be then, well, Alan, should I be mowing after that? Because I still want to pick up my mowing quicker, you know, but is that doing it? Am I mowing off? So that could be the other side of the question. And Pete, I don't know which side of the question you're on or both. Probably you, you know, as sharp as you are, you're on both sides of that question. And so what the other side of the question is, well, I'm mowing so often, is the weed control sitting on the weed long enough to even have effect before I'm just mowing it off? And am I mowing off my weed control by doing that? So that would be the other side of it. And that side is, is, easy to solve as well. And on that side of it, what you do is you want to read your label. And I'm going to give you guys a quick tip here. This is a, this is a tip that has saved me so much time. One of the biggest challenges we have, we as lawn care, I will say lawn care teachers, is that what we are? And I say we, there's a few of us, you know, some guys I like to hang with that also are, really enjoy teaching you guys about lawn care theory and lawn care strategy. But one of the things that we struggle with is getting people to read labels on the products that they buy. Because let's face it, if you look at the label, it's a very small font anyway, and it is not friendly. The label is not laid out in such a way as to keep your eye interested. It isn't laid out like a web page that's designed to lead your eye all to the calls to action, for example, and to, and to dazzle you and to make you see how beautiful something is or to call action to how nice a product is like you're used to looking at on web pages. And it definitely isn't outlined. It definitely doesn't have like easy to read headlines. A lot of people these days, as you know, are headline readers, and the labels are not laid out in any way that you're used to reading in the day's current society, right? We're used to going through Amazon, for example, if I'm looking for something and reading all of the headlines only. And if somebody doesn't put something in a headline, I will probably miss it, even if they have the right uh, thing that I'm looking for, the right item. So labels don't look that way. They're plain, they're black and white, they're small fonts, and they're not interesting, and they don't have any gamification to them, so you have no reason to want to read them. So that's a tough thing as it is. So I'm going to show you, though, how you can change the game with reading labels. 
And what I want you to do is find the label online. I typically recommend that you actually go to the product you're using. So for in this case here, he's using the Bear Advanced, or it's also called Bio Advanced Weed Control. It's for cool season lawns. It's got, I don't think I wrote the active ingredients down here, but I think it's like 2,4-D and MCPP. Yeah, you know me. There might be a little conchlorac in it. Either way, it's a general over-the-counter type weed control that I recommend that all of you with cool season turf use as your first weed control, and some of you will be the only thing you need. In Pete's case, it's not. But either way, what I did is I went to the actual BioAdvanced Bear website. I pulled up the product that he has, and, I, and they have the label there for you. They all will. The reason I want you to go to the actual product website, and by the way, the product's website will be on the label. I want you to go to the actual product's website so you make sure you have the right label. You're reading the right information. Compare the label that's on your item that you have in your hand to the label that's online. So what you do then is you use Command F on your keyboard. Now, I have a Mac. So it's Command F. For you guys with PCs, it's Alt F. And what Command F or Alt F does on the internet or on the web or anywhere in computers, modern computers, it will search the page for the words that you type. It'll, so when, you, when I hit Command F, it gives me a status bar where I can type a word. And what happens is I start typing the word. In this case, I would start typing M-O-W for Mo. I would start typing M-O-W, and you will see it will be like, four spots, 10 spots, eight spots. It'll tell you how many times the letters M-O-W show up. You can even type mowing. But either way, that's a way to search a label that is hard to read, hard to understand it, to search for the key word that you want. You find the word mowing, and as I did that on this bio advance that Pete's talking about here, I searched command F, M-O-W, and I came up, and this is what it says. Do not mow for one to two days after spraying. Clippings from the first three mowings should be left on the treated area. Do not use clippings from the treated areas as mulch or compost around flowers, ornamentals, trees, or in vegetable gardens. And it took me right to that spot. So what I know, Pete, is if you're talking about the back half of the mowing and you want to pick back up to your two-day-a-week mowing, just make sure that the day you spray that you don't mow for at least two days. Now it says do not mow for one to two days after spraying. I would say in your case, because you're an extreme cutter, I don't know, Pete, is that a good thing for me to call you an extreme cutter, an extreme mower? You're following that particular strategy that I tell you to do. You should wait the two days. And in fact, I would say wait three. It's okay to wait a little longer. Let that weed control work, especially if temperatures are a little cooler outside. The weed control is going to work a little slower, so wait the three days. But either way, as long as you wait at least two, you're going to be good to go. Now, your Acclaim Extra that you're using, it also, I did the same thing, and I did a control F on that label. And it says, do not mow treated areas for at least 24 hours to allow time for penetration and translocation into the grass weeds. The effectiveness of a claim extra herbicide is reduced when grass clippings interfere with thorough spray coverage of the target weeds. So that's what I learned about mowing with that product. So hope that answers the question, Pete, on the front end and the back end. And one of the things since we're on it, Pete, this is to you because you asked the questions, but this is to all of you. One of the other things people will ask is after they spray weeds, and Pete, you're not asking this, but this is a question that always comes up along with us, so I want to answer it, is they'll ask Alan, I sprayed all the weeds, but they're still there. This especially happens with dandelions. If you hit dandelions with a good formulation that's got some hardcore 2,4-D in it, they will twist and curl, especially if there's some dicamba in the mix, maybe some MCP, they will, they will curl and twist very quickly but they're not going to go away right away. And in fact, dandelions are a little bit kind of, they're kind of stubborn. They got that big tap root down there. They got those wide serrated blade leaves that stick up. And then if they've, you know, obviously gone to seed head, they got that thick white tube with that puff ball on top, puff ball full of destruction at the top of them. Well, that white tube, it's not going to break down overnight. The dandelion will be dead, but the dandelions will be there for several days, if not more. So by doing the frequent mowing, waiting the couple days that's on the label there, but doing frequent mowing, you're going to get rid of the dead weeds quicker because otherwise the carcass has to sit out there and just decay. But if you're cutting it and cutting it and cutting it, more and more of it will get sucked up as time goes on and you will get rid of the weed carcasses much faster. So that's one other thing to think about with the mowing in conjunction to weeds that just because you killed them, they still have to decay for an amount of time. And if you want them gone faster, up your mowing frequency and you'll be good to go. Pete, thanks for your question. Thanks for letting me take it on a different little bit of a track there at the end. And as always, my friend, I'll see you in the lawn.